And do you know anything about SOC before? No, sir. So you don't know anything about SOC operations? Okay. So tell me, what is do you understand about cyber sec from cyber security jobs? Like you pursued your complete your CES certification. Okay. So what was your expectation before that? Like going in enrolling into CES and completing the certification. Do you know before that? Like there was what other openings companies have. So you can apply in that positions. Uh, before I perceive, I was looking to become a penetration tester, sir. Okay. Uh, so for that, uh, I can I can now do web application penetration testing. Okay. Uh, so this is what my uh, idea was. So you had started to become a penetration tester, but yes, and then grow gradually, uh, sir. Okay. So, but. This SOC training or SOC profiles, so what are the jobs we have in a SOC operations that is not a job what a penetration tester does in their daily job responsibility? Are you about are you aware about this? Yes, sir, yes. Okay. And so you had planned for penetration tester. Now we are going into another direction of SOC operations. So do you know what a SOC analyst perform in daily job responsibility? Sir, as of now, I know uh, they will be detecting threats before happening, sir. Okay. So, how, what the tool they used? Uh, I don't have any idea about these tools and all, sir. Okay. So, now, you understand about your profile. Okay. And now, I want to clear about my SOC training, like how we'll move on. Okay. So, on 6th February, we will start our SOC training. Okay. That will be a six-hour long session. Okay, in which we will discuss only the practical things on what what a SOC analyst does in their job profiles. So if there is any company who want to hire someone like who have some skills or for a SOC position, they want someone who have hands on some tools, which is a SIM tool. SIM tool is a just a kind of software comprehensive solution which company used either in a windows machine or a linux machine but most of the times this software was installed in linux platform and the tool responsible for gathering the logs from all across the networks devices users machines security devices all other network devices all other anything in the network infrastructures will say forward their logs to the sam and SOC analyst will work in a SOC operation team. SOC analyst will be responsible for monitoring the alerts which trigger through this SIM. For example, if this SIM triggered an alert for a phishing attack. Sir, it's S-A-M. S-I-E-M. S-I-E-M. Yeah, that is stands for Security Information Event Management. Okay. This is like to collecting the events which generating from multiple devices across the network and from the logs which we have caught into the SIM, we configure some rules on the basis of that we are triggering some alerts for our SOC analyst team. Okay. SOC analyst team doesn't care about the devices with the logging capabilities. They are responsible for monitoring the alerts triggered through SIM. Whatever the alerts triggered through this ISIM, SOC analyst will acknowledge these alerts, will assign on their name. For example, if there are two SOC analysts working, one alert is triggered for phishing attack, second alert is triggered for brute force attack, that is for a user account. So to respond on these alerts, there is specific time for a security operation center team. If this guy assigned this alert on his name, so another guy will understand that this incident or this alert has been already taken care by another SOC analyst. So he will assign further another notable event which is come for the phishing attack. Okay. So there is no duplicacy in the acknowledgement for the notable events or the alerts triggered through a SIM solution. Okay. Now what a SOC analyst does in daily job responsibility, they go into a team where they're responsible for monitoring in 24 by 7 support. There will be 
morning, evening and night shift. This guy, we keep monitoring these alerts. Once they identified an alert, triggered through SIM. I'm showing with the diagram pictures. Okay. okay so now we understood about this SOC. And so this is a SOC person. They works with SIM tools. And we have penetration testing here. Okay, so SOC analyst works with SIM team. Okay, this is our SOC operation. This is called as a security operation center team. Penetration testing team is worked differently. They have their own scope of work and they can work together. But the guy who working as a penetration testing penetration tester uh, doesn't work as a SOC analyst. The job responsibility is different for both of these profiles. Now. If any alert trigger, like for example, phishing attack or a brute force attack. Now SOC analyst team, the person who will acknowledge this alert, this phishing alert. Now this person will be responsible for checking why this alert triggered by SIM. What logs SIM uh, observed in the logging. So it triggered an alert. Further, if it is a phishing attack, okay, so you have completed your CH, okay. I also want to understand your skills that you have learned in CH. So, so do you, what do you understand about a phishing attack? You can give me a, some idea about that. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, in phishing attacks, the, uh, uh, what do you say, the hackers or the person performing will be uh, actually trying to steal the, uh, information like passwords, username, credit card details, like this uh, such kind of se sensitive uh, information, they can be uh, stealed by this phishing attack. Sir. Right. This is we study in the CH. But tell me what are the recommendation or a being a SOC analyst? What do you understand? What a guy performs? What action he can do to stop or to prevent from this kind of attacks? Uh here to stop this uh, he can block the attacker by using any firewalls or using any filters in which from which way he's attacking from seeing the alert we'll understand by what way he's attacking himself. Okay. so by that we have to build a defense right so uh, i just want to add something here in ch we just go through different level of attacks okay we understand the basic prevention like we can block the uh, email we can block the attacker but when you work in a SOC operations okay uh, the guy working in a SOC operations even if they have other certifications and and this is the important like why SOC and CS training is different because in SOC training we are discussing only the facts that being followed by a SOC analyst in real time job and CEH is just give you the understanding about the attacks and the preventions. But that is the basic preventions. But the actions taken by the SOC analyst is different that we covered in the CES training. Okay. So what a SOC analyst guy will do in a, in a SOC operation once he identified a phishing attack. The first step SOC analyst will check how many users receive this phishing attack okay. okay so he will not just blindly block the email communication he will not blindly block the sender not the domain or the url mentioned in the email the first step so analyst will perform by checking how many target or how many recipients of the internal company have received this same email so the first step by so analyst is to find how many recipients receive this email so which device logs he will use to refer to check this email has been delivered to how many users sir he'll check the network traffic sir uh, like uh, how many uh, mails or how many alerts have been sent or how many messages or fake urls have been uh, done by this uh, url like that he can check the network okay no once we want to check the how many recipients okay so we are talking about the email a email communication come inside okay an email communication will come to the email server okay the firewall 
will just log your network traffic okay your ips will log your malicious traffic will trigger an alert but the activity how many users received this email how can you identify with the email logs okay there is a application like office 365 or exchange server which is responsible for providing the email services so that server that server generates some logs that are called as email logs oh, we can refer to the email logs that we want to search email from xyz at the rate dot mail dot com Okay. So we this is a sender. So in the email logs with our SIM, that all logs are coming to the SIM. So we will take this sender, this attacker email address, and we will search the logs in SIM solution, not directly to the email server, because all devices are sending logs to the SIM. Now we'll check the logs through SIM. SIM will give you dashboard, or you can draft, you can search. In the raw logs as well, okay. If in the dashboard, dashboard give you the option to search in the firewall logs, give you the options to search in the IPS logs, EDR devices logs, machine logs. So that dashboard will be for the email searchings. So you can just enter your, the address of the attacker, like sender, and you will get the information like how many recipients, how many internal employees received this email. You can search either based on the sender information you can search on the basis of the recipient's information you can search on the basis of the subject email subject okay okay so that information first will be collected by our soc analyst now we understand like okay 10 internal employees targeted by the attacker okay now the next step for a soc analyst will understand from where this email originated okay who sent this email is this email coming from the internally or someone spoofed the email address or uh, maybe another organization user of another organizations has somebody compromised the, his email id and sent an email or maybe attacker might be using some open email relay server open relay server where they can just spoof the sender address and can send the email okay so there are different facts we have to analyze so once we find this this email also now tell me how can you identify that this email is has been spoofed email address or is is coming through which server how can you check that sir uh, as Uh, as we talked in earlier uh, we uh, see that a- there will be email logs ip logs and firewall logs coming to this uh, smem uh, we can search in the dashboard no sir from wh- from where this email is been originated because we have the sender uh, information also in the email present this is for your understanding this is the internet okay this is the firewall this is some ip solution this is our router this is our email server and here we have uh, internal user employee sitting inside in the internal network okay so this is the company infrastructure okay this is firewall ips router email server and internal employee so for example we have received two two users okay now this firewall will show us the information based on the ip addresses okay ips will help us to find the attacks ips trigger an alert on the detection of malicious packets okay so attacks in that signature that alert will be triggered by ips contain the information date source ip destination ip attacker signature or the vulnerability trying to exploit a router has some routing information which is not when required by soc team okay email will show us the email logs information like what are the sender recipients or if we can go um, in the capabilities to logging the ip addresses 
which device will be used can you can you help us in that like now if you said that we can check the fiber logs through the sam because and all these devices sending logs to the sam so fiber sending the information about the ip addresses and their connection ip sending the information about the attacks and email server sending the information about the email communications but either if we have some device or if we have such kind of the capabilities where we can log the email activity with their ip addresses then we can find but the best and the easiest approach to check the email headers okay the email contains some email headers by analyzing the email headers a soc analyst can identify the originating ip address which email servers used internally and externally if this email ip address is spoofed or not all these email address informations can be extracted by the soc analyst through the email headers okay sir okay so first how many target recipients second we check what we analyze the email address email header you can see my screen right email header an email header you will find the information about the spoofing information if email address is spoofed or not what is the sender exchange server is used okay you can find the original ip address of the email from where this is email has come inside okay then further you can block this ip address which is available in your email address email headers okay okay sir you can block the sender through the email logs now the third step okay once you identify okay this email address is not spoofed and we have identified this email address is sent through a some remote or foreign location for example uh, netherland okay so now you can look up for that ip address to which organization it belongs to maybe that ip address belong to some services that company to provide the email services okay might be that ip address belong to some broadband connection might be that ip address belong to some organization like microsoft or facebook you have to identify like from which this email actually originated is this from the cloud services by some any company which provide the email services so if you block the ip address that and the company provide the email services there is no point to block the ip address maybe they have a different range of the ip address they can send another email from another ip address if you if you are just blocking a, a single ip address for an organization because organization just not not only by a single ip address they have maybe two or three more ip addresses for their exchange servers now third is to check the email body is this really a phishing attack maybe user reported this a phishing attack our sim said it's a phishing attack but phishing attack some email which contains some url and ask the user to enter some information okay but if this email this email body does not asking for any forum it doesn't contain any url doesn't contain any attachment then it is safe to not consider this as a phishing attack because this is not a phishing then we will change this category to a spamming emails might be this is a spam emails okay but not a phishing email okay in phishing user have to fill some information fill up some, fill up some, some data but if we are not filling in data in the email then how could we categorize that email as a phishing email then we will open a case for our sim engineer that sim team okay that we identify this alert but this alert is not actually a true positive attack they we analyzed we analyzed the recipients we analyzed the email address we perform the different uh, log investigation and we come to the conclusion that this is not a phishing attack this is spamming email so either exclude such kind of the communication like on what basis they have configured this rule maybe they have configured the rule on the basis of a blacklist email address might be they got the information from some third party that these are the email ad sorry email address can be used for a phishing attack because that should be based on the logs okay 
from to capture fishing attack from the firewall logs is possible if we have the IP address of the attacker from the firewall logs right from the email logs we can identify the sender and the receiver information so we can create a rule if we match a log with a particular sender from the IPS we can identify the attacks but not a phishing attack maybe if IPS has some rule to detect a phishing attack and that alert is forward to the SEM then we can further detect that now if this is a phishing attack if there's a true positive attacks is a phishing attack then what is the next action for a SOC analyst what you will suggest a what do you understand like what next action will be taken by SOC analyst uh, sir, we identified that uh, we already know from where this has been coming and how this is going. Yeah. Uh, we know the recipient and we know the uh, sender who is it. So, uh, why can't we just simply uh, block it? Uh, as you spoke earlier, if you block one IP, they can be uh, sending from an other IP. So, why can't we just filter such kind of mails coming? Why can't we put a filter in this firewall? Okay, the firewall I told you will block any communication based on the IP addresses. Okay, so you can't use firewall to block email, phishing email communication if you don't have the exact original IP address of the attack. Okay. Okay, so phishing attack is very difficult to trace. Okay, because you don't know what email address they can use. Attacker can use any email address. Okay. Either you should aware about the sender email address of the attacker so that you can block on your email server that your email server should not accept any email communication that is from particular sender which that for example you have 10 sender email address which might be send a phishing attack you can block that 10 sender information but but about like if attacker change this email address because it's very uh, versatile like attacker can just change the source email address very in few seconds Sir, then why can't we just uh, filter the content before we deliver this mail? Okay, so that is no job for a firewall. That is no job for an IPS. So we can use some separate security devices like email security protection. Mostly that device check the content because email is maybe HTTPS communication. Okay, how your IPS, how your firewall will check the content in the encrypted communication. Right. So for that, you can um, buy a security product like email security protection. And when they receive that email, that security device will uh, decrypt that email chain, email communication will analyze few bytes of the first letters like because it's a capabilities for a device like if the size of the packet is like 2 MB, maybe the device just investigate the first 514 bytes only. Okay, if that contains the malicious link, it can block. Otherwise, it will bypass through the device. So there is some security protection as well available in the market, which company used to block such kind of the phishing attack or spamming emails. Okay, but there is a possibility like that email still there are some emails getting bypassed through the IPS, through the firewall, security protection, and email server, and delivering to the user. And we got an alert in a SOC analyst. My responsibility to find out if this is a phishing attack. Is there any user shared the credential with the attacker? So now tell me how can you check which or what other users, how will you check they have shared their credential or some information with the attacker through a phishing by a phishing campaign? How can you check that? As you already know, the recipients, uh, they'll be the uh, responders for this thing. So we have to keep monitor, keep monitoring these uh, receivers' emails, whether they are like uh, sending a reply, uh, whether they are uh, uh, logging into that URL. Okay. So how, which logs you will refer to check? Which log will check? Which device, security device you will think that it's good for to check such kind of the logs? Uh, we can check their email logs. No, email. I told you, email contains only the communication information. Okay, so here we have DNS logs. Okay, 
we have proxy logs. A proxy is a device who act as an intermediary for the users when they are going outside in the internet. So they have to pass through the proxy. Or if there is a domain name in the email because the packets in the network followed or the forwarded on the basis of an IP addresses. Okay, that any any network packet is not just forward on the basis of the domain name. So the machine require an IP address. If this email body contains some domain, for example xyz.com, machine cannot send directly a packet to this domain. Machine first to convert this domain to an IP address. And that will be possible through a DNS server. So your machine, the internal machine will send a DNS request and this DNS server will resolve to this domain to an IP address and provide this IP address to this machine. And further this machine will forward the packet to the password of the proxy and go to the internet. For example in this website, attacker hosting for this website. XYZ com so you can refer these dns logs so analyst will check the dns logs is there any dns request come for these domain which is mentioned in the email body if yes what are the users they are are the same users who received the email so yes there's a possibilities attack users actually clicked on that domain then you can check the proxy logs for more details if to a company using proxy now you will get understanding okay yes user just uh, once email has been dropped to the user inbox user open that domain that generated DNS request and DNS request come to the machine back and that network packet go outside in the internet that can check through the DNS and then you can check to the firewall as well because if the connection going outside you can check on the basis of the IP address you can check what is the IP address for this domain name okay then you can check the communication yes that we have seen some outbound communication from this machine to outside of this IP address or this domain name so this is the steps followed by a SOC analyst okay so once we identified this communication is go outside users share the credentials now what you will recommendations further after identifying that users share the credentials so we we'll let the uh, company organization know that there have been a phishing attack for this recipient and then these people have been responded we'll be writing our report okay okay now there are separate teams okay so company have a separate different teams for responding on different aspects of a infrastructures okay if this is related to some users okay so there's a team called as a support team okay desktop support team the desktop support team responsible for managing the user machine they're managing the user accounts they're managing the scanning the uh, employees much box stations to identify any virus okay so if there is anything linked to the users you will report that activity through a email communication or a texting tool that is used by companies to report any activity any activity in the infrastructure management so you will also use the ticking tools okay so company use bmc remedy opaz version v2 was 3 snow there is different ticking tools you will open a ticket for desktop support team that we are SOC team we identify a phishing attack and we find this user shared the credentials so now what are the recommendation your recommendation for desktop support team to immediately reset the user account password okay if user shared his password to the attacker okay then you will open other t tickets for other teams for example teams for your network support team or network security team network security team responsible for managing the ips managing the firewall you will ask them to we identify this phishing attack so kindly block the ip address over the firewall kindly block this ips block the ip address of the attacker over this ips you can also open a one more ticket to your email server team 
that is managing your email server that block this sender we identified a phishing attack from this source email address so they can block the email address at this email server okay so these are different steps okay in ceh training is completely different okay when i had completed my training for ceh and i i started working in soc operations it was very difficult to correlating the logs understanding the operations tasks ceh is just for your understanding to build understanding about the attacks and the resolutions like what quick resolution but soc responsibility the response actions by soc team is completely different what we learned in ceh okay okay so so in the our next like in when we start our six hour webex training okay that is uh, we providing the our free training to educate people to raise awareness about the soc training because people understand this they are complete the ceh or the security trainings that is enough to move into the security but company want someone who have actually hands on in handling the security incidents that is a soc operations okay now i also wanted to tell about the cyber security in cyber security if there is any job available most of the jobs are available into only in soc operations that is people ask like there are lot of jobs coming all jobs most of the jobs are coming for the soc operations because now company is building security operation center and soc is could be based for a single client or there are companies who building managed security services in managed security services they build a soc team and their soc team will monitoring the network for more than 10 or 15 companies they are monitoring multiple companies network and they are following the same steps which we perform for a phishing attack here okay okay and in our free training we will do a hands on for 6 hours on completely this kind of attacks okay that is that is for your understanding like what we want to learn actually so you can understand and ensure that you brush up your skills you have learned in ch training so that will help you to understanding the facts about the observation and the attack techniques okay sir okay and uh, do you have any questions padmini regarding this assessment we have done now Uh, no sir i clearly understood what a uh, soc uh, analyst responsibilities are and how uh, the work is going to be yes and and this is very important because when you will go for a job interview they will ask like okay some kind of the int- some questions like what was the last incident handled by you how did you handle phishing attack okay just giving a simple answer to block the email communication is not actually relevant answer so you have to give understanding about like how the first step second step third step like we check the how many recipients what are the email address we will perform the email address analysis we will check about is there a phishing attack then we will check the network devices like proxy logs genius logs what other logs are there so this will help to understand and to move career in cyber security so thank you for joining this session